What's good, people? Old Mick Waller out here again. Wanted to talk to you guys about uh, heading into phase two of the garden. So, my garden has been very, very hot here. I haven't watered and we've had rains, but they haven't been soaking enough. And so, I was thinking that the rain was good enough and it actually wasn't. So a lot of my plants are like suffering from the heat. So um, when you look at my plants, that just know that that's the case. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about preparing for phase two of the garden. So for me, I, I kind of separate gar my garden into three phases, right? Spring, summer, fall, winter are the phases right so we went through the spring we're into the summer right your summer plants are growing and they're uh the plant itself is growing but now it's they're actually starting to start fruiting and you start to see all that kind of stuff you're now officially entering into phase two and what there's some things you should be doing in phase two so one of the things i like to do um, is check up on all my plants I want to make sure, so for example, when I'm dealing with my peppers and my tomatoes, I want to make sure, um, because they are now tall, I want to make sure that they're good and staked and they're secured, right, to the stakes. Because once they start producing a bunch of fruit, um, if they're not properly secured, the fruit is going to grow, it's going to get heavy, and then you're, you're bound to get a wind storm come through and your plant won't be able to support it and your plant goes so make sure that you're going through looking at your plants making sure everything is properly staked um those especially those tall plants you want to check uh when it comes to your tomatoes one of the things i like to do and i've done this already on this one is i like to come down and make sure i clean up the bottom again um, even though when I start, you guys know how I like to start, I cut everything off from the bottom, let my plants grow up, but every now and then you'll get plants, I mean, they'll start growing some other shoots and stuff starts laying on the ground. Now, if you, <clears throat> if you mulch, it's, you're protecting yourself, uh, from decay and, um, not decay, but, uh, disease and stuff like that when you do this but just in case even even though this is mulched i still like to cut down here because it opens up the when the wind blows a good pathway to keep everything cool keep everything from getting diseased and it's easier for me uh to do some other things i didn't do this plant yet but i'm gonna show you see how everything is still growing down here it's touching and you get all this yellowing down at the bottom I like to cut all that stuff away okay you get these random ones that like to come from the bottom growing out they're not growing up in here I'm cutting all that stuff off cleaning up that bottom um, another thing you want to do um, so you, you should, you're securing your plants your your um, you're securing your your uh, your fruiting plants you're cleaning up your tomatoes and things and you want to look for yellowing leaves you're cutting and trimming all that off secondly i like to fertilize early in the spring with a dry fertilizer and i also every couple weeks i give liquid fertilizer to all my plants that's what i do throughout the season however once i go into phase two I start putting down more dry fertilizer for these, for um, all of my fruiting vegetables. So the first dry was good enough for the plant to get as big as it is now, but I wanna also make sure that it has enough nutrients to su uh, support the production of the fruit without having any disease and all of that kind of stuff. So beginning in phase two, I like to um, go through all of these again and give it a good dry fertilizer 
uh, shot one more time before the end of the season. So I do that with all of my uh, vegetables, especially those that are getting fruit. But basically, I actually do that with all my vegetables. I hit it with a good second dose, okay? So I'll, you see my fertilizer, I'll be doing that. Next you wanna do is start doing some cleanup. Fall vegetables that are dead, gone, they're just roots left, they're going to seed, all that other kind of stuff. If you're not going to be collecting those seeds, start cleaning it up. Making room, making space to be able to plant for some other things. Again, once you pull the things out, you get the soil all nice and good. You may need to add a little bit more soil or some compost down. You're gonna also have to hit it with some more fertilizer in the areas before you plant. Um, so you see here, well, I got all this stuff like that. I got old spinach in there. Spinach is starting to go to seed and I don't want these particular spinach seeds. So I'm not, I'm gonna to wanna to pull all of that all that foolishness i got grass and weeds growing in here pull all that nonsense up everything you want to stay you can keep it in there like some of my garlics are in there i got some carrots somewhere in here i like to let that stuff stay but i want to make sure that i clean it up real good refertilize so that it's time to put some more things down that can go in uh, also harvest the things that you can so I'm going to be like harvesting some of this chamomile. Um, if you guys are following me on Instagram at Old Mick Waller, um, you'll see that I just got a new uh, dehydrator. I never had a dehydrator before, but I wanted to be able to make my own tea and stuff. And so I'm about to harvest all of this chamomile, put it in the, um, the uh, dehydrator, get me some of that. You want to start your harvest, especially on your herbs. So I'm gonna come over here on my herbs. See my purple uh, basil is looking beautiful. My pineapple sage and my regular sage, my thyme and my oregano. You see it's all growing all nice and full with the herbs. It's time to give them a haircut. I'm cutting everything down, way down, drying it, either making it, uh, leaving it loose or making some kind of seasoning that I can use in cooking. And when you do that with your, <clears throat> when you're doing that with your herbs, let me give you an example, like with the sage, I'm gonna be coming all the way down to like where the first set of leaves kind of start and that's where I'm gonna hit it. So let me see if I can give you guys a good shot. So down here, where the leaves kind of start, I'm gonna be cutting straight up here, right above those leaves, and that'll produce, uh, that'll allow the uh, more leaves to produce later. That's what you wanna do. And I'm gonna be doing that for all of them, getting a haircut. So you wanna make sure you do a harvest on herbs, and you're gonna make sure you harvest some other things. So. Over here, guys, you know, this is my turnip greens. They look, a, I mean, not greens, but the actual turnips. The, the leaves getting eat up, eaten up by the uh, cabbage worm, but it's all good. If you look down here, you see I got some good pur purple turnips. They're big, juicy, ready to come out. So it's time. You can see all down in there turnips everywhere down in there so it's time to do all that get that all out the way prepare it the area so that something else can be planted there so get your harvest on on your herbs um, clean up everything want to refer refertilize let me come over here and show you guys my mints so that second mint guys has already full, filled up this container now. Remember, it was only just a little bit. Filled it up. Lemon balm filled it up. 
uh, having water and so my first mint is looking terrible looks like it's dead and look like it's dying it's not dead it's not dying guys I'm gonna slice all of that stuff down refertilize a couple weeks it'll be right back so um, these are all going to get dried out anyway so I'm not even worried about it drying them out with some tea lemon balm and the other mint so that's the kind of stuff that you want to make sure that you're doing harvest everything clean up make room cut off the yellow refertilize that's going to be for phase two of your gardening guys i hope you guys are having a great gardening time um i'm having an interesting one uh, my summer veggies are looking good even without the watering you can see my um cucumbers are now growing all the way up my pole beans are all the way up top they're actually starting to come across now got some melons that's growing up some more pole beans over there already got one squash this is the interesting thing right so this is supposed to be a zucchini plant guys how about the fruit is yellow so either this is a true squash that just grew ridiculously big or this is a volunteer um, zucchini plant that crossed with a squash from last year. I don't know. I thought it was a zucchini. It's as big as a zucchini. It looks like a zucchini, but the fruit is yellow. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting that, checking it out, um, picking that fruit down there to see what's going on. And we'll just see. You also want to make sure your vines and stuff like that, you want to secure all of those as well. That goes uh, along with my first rule. Make sure you secure all your summer veg. All right, people. Get to growing. Hope all is well. Make sure you're following me on Facebook at Old McWaller. Make sure you're following me um, on Instagram at Old McWaller. I'm actually... I didn't show you guys I had put a net down because all the birds were eating my blueberries and stuff. So now I got some blueberries. I hope y'all can see that. Some blueberries are now ripe in there. I'm going to be getting in and harvesting some blueberries. Then harvest some of my raspberries and some other things. I got blackberries over there that's ready to come. So I'm going to be doing all of that today while it's nice and hot. I'm off and I just want to get this stuff cleaned up so that I'm ready to go. All right, peeps. Talk to you guys later. Peace.